All right, guys, we got the Evo here at my mate's workshop. We're gonna be borrowing his hoist today. Uh, we'll be installing the white line front and rear sway bar kit um, and the roll center kit from white line and also the hard race lower control arms and the toe arms.
Oh guys, so we're back at home now. Um, we just finished installing the sway bar kit and the camber and control arms for the track Evo 8 build. Fortunately, I couldn't film that much because um, I, yeah, I was just too busy trying to get it done. I was running out of time. Uh, it was getting pretty dark and I got a three hour drive home so I was just kind of rushing it. Uh, the rears wasn't that hard to do but the front was so hard. Yeah, uh, pretty much the subframe was just hanging off and the only thing that was holding it onto the car was the steering column so it was so fiddly just to wriggle it in and I finally managed to do it. I was pretty much by myself. Um, the other boys were kind of in a rush to get their track car done for their um, race meet in the coming weeks so yeah they couldn't really help me out so I was pretty much by myself so that's why I couldn't film that much so I've got the car at home now uh, we'll just jack up the car and then I'll show you what we did okay so we're underneath the front here and obviously as you can see I've got the white line bump steer correction kit which comes with the ball joint and the outer tie rod here so white line there and there's the white line front sway bar with adjustable end links here so it was just so damn fiddly I can't imagine doing it on the ground like this it's near impossible thank god I had my mates hoist so we just get to the back okay so we're at the back of the Evo here now there's my white line rear suspension kit there's my hard race camera arm toe arm back there uh, this way my kit came with a bit of extras I got an upgraded bracket that bolts onto the rear subframe there so it's thicker than the OEM one I've got this little collar here I guess that's to stop the sway bar from moving left to right and I also got another um, adjustable end link back there so yeah I can't wait to get this thing out onto the racetrack to see how it is Alright, so that's it for this video. So we gotta take the car off to Hakon suspension for a quick wheel alignment. And then in a couple of weeks, we end up driving the car to Powertune in Sydney for them to install the Bulletproof Racing twin in-tank fuel pump hanger and the bigger lines. And obviously give the car a nice retune and we see how much reliable power we can make before we take the Evo 8 out onto the racetrack. So if you wanna see more, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys at the next video.